Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about IP source guard or IPSG. ISP, IPSG is something that you can use to prevent IP spoofing when a host tries to use a random or the IP address uh, of its neighbors. Uh, it uses the DHCP snooping database and static IP source binding entries. The switch blocks all IP traffic received on the interface except for except for I, DHCP packets allowed by DHCP snooping. Uh, it is something that is only supported on layer two ports, including access and trunk ports, and can be enabled on uh, untrusted ports. So how does it work? Uh, packets can be packets. Uh, coming into a switch can be tested in two ways. Uh, one way is to one way is the one way is the source address can must be identical to the IP address learned by DHCP snooping or a static entry. The source MAC address must be identical to the MAC address uh, learned on the switch. And this, by the way, the second way that the traffic is uh, tested. So again, the source MAC address must be identical to the MAC address learned on the switch port and by DHCP snooping. So talking about uh, spoofed, I mean, let me talk about the spoof source address. So this is, this is the attack that uh, can be done. So basically, like I mentioned earlier, earlier here, um, the attack happens when a host tries to use a random uh, or uh, the IP address of its neighbor within the VLAN or subnet. And this is this can be, I mean, this is something that can be difficult to uh, detect because it's within the VLAN or a subnet. So, uh, I mean, uh, IP source guard is something, is a feature that you can use to prevent this kind of attack. And this is how you configure it. So first, you need to make sure that DHCP snooping is enabled and it is only configured on or at the uh, access switches and access ports. So let me open my topology here. So I'm just going to uh, configure it on these access switches and on the entrusted ports. So this is access switch one and access switch two. And I have it opened here, access switch one. The other session is I access switch two. So let me just go ahead and and I can just copy and paste the configuration here. So you have to make sure that the switch is access mode. Not the switch. The port is um, access mode. And if you want to also uh, check the, the MAC address, like it says here. You have to enable, oops. You have to enable port security here. And you have to add the port security keyword at the end of this uh, command, okay? So again, the packets arriving on a switch port can be tested in uh, two ways. So one is uh, IP address, and the other one is MAC address. So let me go ahead and configure it. So 
uh, gig gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero is the one facing PC one, right? So this is switch one here, and the other switch is switch two, and this is the port facing facing BPCS or this host here. Sorry, I think I configured the wrong switch. Yeah, this is switch two, which is facing uh, PC two and switch one, doesn't matter uh, which one I configured first. This is, this is the switch con, uh, facing PC one. So, that's how you can that's how you can configure IP source guard. So one command, and this here is actually optional. And I can just show it real quick here. So if I can, if I issue that command, so you see that I can do it that way or add that port security command. And this is how you can configure a IP source binding if you know the IP address is configured statically. And these are the commands, verification commands that you can use to verify IP source guard. So it says denied here because in this case, DHCP snooping is actually not working. Um, for some reason, Wireshark doesn't, at least the Wireshark version that I'm using doesn't support it. So let me know in the comment uh, section if you were able to uh, simulate or yeah, simulate IP source guard and TNS3. But in my case, I was not able to um, able to uh, get it working. But you know, this is these are the commands that uh, you can use to verify IP source guard. And yeah, that's it. So let me know. Like I said, if you have um, any questions, but hopefully this. Uh, video will help you at least with you know uh, with the commands to use to ver to configure uh, IP source guard. So that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.